Yeah, welcome back guys. It's your boy the cool graphics. So right now I want to teach you how to make a simple 3D logo using shield builder on your PC lab. So without wasting much of our time, let's get started. Just the first thing we need to do is to determine the size. This is the size we are using 1024 by 1024. Go to the shape and turn this to circle. Increase and you centralize it. Increase a bit and change the color to black. Click on plus and drag the top one to the right. Copy. Go back to the color and change it to white. After that, go to where you select this particular shape. After that, reduce the size for this a little bit. Reduce it more. Then position it as I'm showing it like this. Just make sure you position it. Use your relative position to justify. Then look at it critically if you are okay with the way it was. If you are not, move it out a little bit. Still use your relative position to justify. After that, shift out a little bit justify now go to the shape merge it together after that after this then you go to eraser erase it you might turn it back and still look at it a little bit by drag this one house now go to relative position you can conveniently cut it out now sorry go to eraser sorry go to erase color then everything is into plum change the color now to make everything work well copy this when you copy it we are going to rotate then when we rotate it we are going to position Move side by side like this. Okay, perfect. So when we actually do that, then the next thing we need to do is to cut it out. Okay. And how exactly can we do that? You can go in with your mask. So when you go in with your mask, you can use your mask to cut out just as perfect as this. Okay, good. Now the remaining one, copy. Okay, after cutting it out, then we have another left over here. Let's see whether it can work. You can rotate this just as this. Then after that, rotate it like this. Now make sure that uh, you manage to position this one here. Remember. This is part of the shape cut out. So allow this to bring them out. Just as exactly as this. Now cut cool. We are making sense. After that has been done, we need to apply color. Go to the color, check shake it and let's say this one is color 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 red. You can just assign this. Okay. okay so after that we can lock this come to the color change it we don't need it with first then we'll go to the last one we change it to color of our choice so we can change it to red or whatever depends on our choice okay very cool so what is the nice thing let's form this to form a grid to form um, the gradient 
so you can still go to the color and adjust okay just let's bend this to make it okay okay fine then look at how it look it's not really okay So we need to just uh, manage this and position it well. Let's look at where we have this. Good. Good. Okay, perfect. Now that we are able to change your the color, we can match them together. Merging them together, putting all our right up to make everything cool. So we go in there. Then we look for money. So we're going to put this one here. So what can we do next? We we'll just put chap. So we see. So when this has been done, then we can go in there to the font and look for better font that can suitable for this. So thank you for instance. Go and check the robot, which will be the best. Or check leak spatter. Okay, cool. So what we need to do now, since we are already select this, we can bring this one here as a job. Then we put capital letter D. Okay. Okay, perfect, perfect. But nevertheless, we still need to okay. After position that that one will serve as a demarcation. Just use it to get set. Make sure I touch this line. Then you can demarcate the bottom as well. The essence is to just monitor that everything is justified. Okay, very good. So now let's have this color change to this is something like this Okay, so after that, we are good to go. Chap, this is the logo. Then, what we need to do next is to just uh, 
merge everything together position it like this go to color change it to transparent background and have it save now let's go to our photo page This is Photopy website www.photopy.com. This is the interface. Tap on open from computer. Sorry, let me reload this. Tap open from computer. Click on file and locate where you have the marker being saved. So So I'm looking for the markup. So when you load it, the thing is not come up. There are one thing you do, just refresh. Tap on import your mockup again. So locate, tap on it and import. Until when you show loading, that is when you know that it's loading. This is the markup we are using. Tap on layer here. Double tap here. And if you experience this, just move it to the left and close. Hide everything. Click eye icon beside it. Close. Go to file. Open and place. Then bring in where you keep your logo. I mean, bring it where you keep the logo you just designed. So we imported this. Increase it, just drag and increase. But before that, we can see put a change the color to this. Let's just maintain and do proper stuff. So, this letter P can be changed as well to blue. Then we we'll have accurate results. Okay, perfect. Then we can resave. Then you can go back to markup area. Repeat the previous process. Hide anything, everything here. Click on file, open and place. Click on file and install it. Then drag it to make it bigger. After that file, save with smart object. After that, you just wait to see the result transform. You can say the result is out. Then what can you do? You need to click on file, export PNG. Wait a little second for window like this to pop up. Click save. It asks you to watch and hard. Click OK. Then exercise patient. So take make sure you know this if the video is not i mean it's not advertising it's won't save 
anything so you need to tap on it wait for it to advertise At times, when you look at it at times, it looks like normally from cheating and you discover that you are trying to save. That's why the side fact you see this information, you click OK. Nothing seems to work. Just be looking. You can close the panel entirely. Click on File again. Export PNG. Now, off your data on it then click on download okay let's see So, if the thing is now saved, it shows that uh, your network is very bad. So, you need to keep on tapping until you see the results. 